the bugs have been pretty intense this week. So, and it's difficult working with, um, you know, your, your bug suit on. <laughs> So raked all of this out, picked up some weeds. There's these runners here that are really deep, have a deep root. So I was trying to get most of them. I think I got all that I could see. Sorry, the silly mosquitoes are out now. Taking some of the bigger weeds. There's still some here to do. So everything has been done up until here. These logs are going to stay here until we do the retaining wall there. Um, to show you this pink. Look at that beauty. That's a pink uh, trillium. I had never seen one before. So we have a pink there. A white one here. one there but it's or burgundy but it's kind of difficult to see so when we get the garden done I'm hoping to start doing some of it soon <laughs> if I can get this done this year say by mid June I'll put the I'll put flowers in. I did them cover. Okay, so Joe left and I'm here on my own. So I did uncover the rhododendron. I see that there's some greenery. I don't see anything yet sprouting, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed on uh, I'm hoping that we'll get something. So I'm going to remove a top layer of the mulch from here and then just add about four to six inches of soil and uh, don't know that I want the mulch in the garden. So I've just cleaned up up to here. So I'll do this half next, next week when I'm in. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this stuff. I already got rid of some there. So this is a good two to three hours. So we've got a couple of white pine. And it makes a huge mess in the fall. So we'll have to give this a good raking. The raking doesn't take long. And we've got this area here to fill. So it's settled from last year. So I've already started putting some things there. So we'll continue to do that. But from up here, this is what has been get cleaned up. We've got those one, one, two, three big piles there. Man, I'm so glad that this is done. This will take me a couple of hours to do. It's not a big of a deal and it's just raking that area there there's a lot of growth coming in just greenery as we use it throughout the summer it'll disappear and then mushrooms will come up in the fall so yeah the bunkie has been confirmed to arrive uh, the weekend of July the 15th so the bunkie that we have there now um yeah, I'm really disappointed. Uh, we're trying to sell it. Uh, we have, we've had some inquiries, but no, no one has expressed interest yet. So um, 
I'm hoping that we'll be able to recover our money. If not, it is what it is. So disappointed. Um, yeah. It's just beautiful here right now. I wish there weren't any bugs. I go down by Sparky to have a coffee. So there's a lot of nice perennials in this area here. I'm going to try and uh, move some over to that garden once it's done. There's a little iris there and there. I think they're Siberian iris, but I'm not sure because they've never bloomed for us yet. So fingers crossed that I'll get a bloom this year so I know. Um... Yeah, and I think, I think there's, um, there's some echinacea or oxeye daisies, I'm not sure. But over here, I'm just going to have one or two tiers of garden and, um, yeah, they're just going to be one kind. So I'd like one row to be just hydrangeas, another one maybe just daisies with contrasting uh, foliage so that looks nice in the summer and that we get nice flowers, showy flowers in the spring or in the summer as well. But that's my goal. I don't want to have a variety of things here just two or three I, I think we're going to get two gardens there and then just fill them with two types of flowers either shrubs or um, or something that does well and is showy and over there in that garden I'll have a little bit more variety in terms of Iris, Shasta daisies, rutabaga, black-eyed Susan. Well, they're the same thing. Black-eyed Susans, uh, maybe Liatris, uh, some sun drops. Just a nice variety of perennials, and then just splash of annuals here and there. So that will be the only garden that I will have to tend to um, in terms of flowering and thinning, etc. And then over here, I really like that little garden. I'd like it to be more woodsy. So I've got the bridal wreath. I'm hoping that the ferns will survive. I hope so. Well, I think they will. So I'm going to head home. I have a coffee and fix the hummingbird feeders. Have a good evening. <laughs>